Hi, I'm Lauren Shields. In Lotus position, because starting January 16th, gyms and fitness studios can once again host classes indoors. Governor Whitmer made the announcement January 13th. Starting January 16th until January 31st, indoor group fitness and exercise class may resume with masks. As you can see here, Susan Bird, owner of Living Arts Dance Studio in both Mason and Williamston, is excited about the news. Bird says that her studio was closed from mid-March through September 7th and was then closed again by November 15th. So, this one, hmm. <laughs> um, it has affected our business drastically. Um, when we started enrolling students, we had less than half than we had last year because of the pandemic. Um, when we enrolled students, 95% of our students and their parents wanted to be in person. But as soon as we got the okay to open back up yesterday, enrollments are going up already. I mean, instantly. Both Bird and Misty Bellis, owner of People's Yoga in Rio Town, pivoted to virtual teaching while shut down. Bellis's studio, opened in August 2019, has been closed for longer than it has been open. But by teaching virtually, she has been able to instruct larger classes. The biggest class that we've taught, I think we had 56, and that was really fun. <laughs> I could never get 56 people in the studio. Both Bird and Bellis will continue to allow members to join by Zoom for their in-person classes in order to accommodate all of their students no matter comfortability, distance, or learning style. We will always offer that from here on out. Just if you go on vacation and you want to take class from the beach, you can take class from the beach. If people can't show up for the class while it's happening live, we send out the recording of the class. So people really can take any of the classes on the schedule and do it at their leisure. For more information, go to fox47news.com. For Fox 47 News, Lauren Shields.